What's going on? What's going on, man? We back again for another segment of Trucker Talk. Today's word is fixed cost. What does fixed cost mean in trucking? So last segment it was kind of a, a of a deal about fixed costs and variable costs. But let's get to this fixed cost and then we're going to get to the, the whole debate. So let's give you the de- definition first. Fixed costs is business costs such as rent that are consistent, whatever the quantity of goods or services produced. So look, let's say that you are leasing a semi, right? These are some things that should go in your fixed cost column. For example, truck note, insurance, fuel, maintenance, And when I say maintenance, we all know that maintenance varies. But in trucking, we all know also that any day something can happen. More common, a tire blowout. Uh, You run out of gas. You got a rookie driver. You run out of gas. Um, You get into an accident. Somebody hits you. A rock hits your window. These are variable costs, but we know in trucking something is more prone to happen at least once a month. That's at least once, twice, three times a month. I always say once, probably every 10 days, something is going to happen that is out of your control. So you need to have, and when I stress this need, you need to have a account for maintenance. Because maintenance is just all over the place, man. When I own my truck, and we're not going to dwell on this no longer, but when I own my truck, so many things happen in between, like, point A and point B that were out of my control. So this should be under a fixed cost. If you're leasing a truck, truck note, insurance, fuel, maintenance, you better have this down. You better have a certain amount of money set aside for these mishaps because they will happen. They will happen. Um, if if you know your fixed costs is going to be there, if you're leasing on, if you're leasing a semi, your fixed cost is going to be there for a truck note. You cannot dodge that note. You need insurance because most times, if you're leasing a vehicle, these um, dealerships want their asset covered in full, so you have to have the best insurance just in case anything happen, they want to make sure that they get their money back from an unpaid uh, asset. Um, Fuel. Your fuel is going to be pretty high, and you have to run that truck to meet the trucking note and the trucking insurance that you have on there. Also, the maintenance. Like I said, once every 10 days, expect something if it if if nothing happens in that 10 days, just set aside some money for it, um, you know, the next 10 days and the next 10 days. So when you look up, if nothing happens in a year, you have a year worth of savings and you're going to be in, in the green on everything. So um, not so much fixed costs in that column for somebody who owns their truck because you could take out that truck note uh, payment. You could take out that uh the insurance is less, but you will have to pay insurance. The fuel turns into uh, from a fixed cost to a variable cost because you really don't have to run that truck as hard because it's just you and you own your truck. So if you sit that truck down for a month, guess what? You don't have to pay fuel. Um, maintenance is the same as fuel. You sit that truck down for a month, you won't have to pay your maintenance because you know you're not going to be moving the truck. So... That was just a spill for y'all, man. Um, Trucker talk, fixed costs. I love y'all, man. This 18 willing, and this is another one, and we out of here. (laughs) You've been listening to the 18 Wheeling Podcast. The podcast for truckers by truckers. We got to get on down the road. But you can find us on TikTok and YouTube at the number 18 willing. And on Instagram at Mr. 18 Willen. Will you be safe out there when you get her pointed towards the house? You hammer down, come in.